Hey guys, so in 2023, the world has come closer to the threat of full-scale war between the big nuclear powers than at any time since the end of the Cold War. Today, the likelihood of a new world war has increased significantly, and its cause may be the war in Ukraine, Taiwan, the situation on the Korean Peninsula, or territorial claims between India and China. Military spending by large countries, primarily the US, China, and Russia, continues to grow. A lot of budgetary funds go to the development of the latest types of weapons. Recently, the United States has openly stated that it considers space as a new potential war zone. Countries are investing billions in modern military technology. And in today's video, I'm going to tell you about some of the advanced military technologies that could be used in the Third World War. BAE Systems, a British company, has developed a camouflage system that can make objects effectively invisible by disguising them as surrounding objects in order to protect them against enemy fire. The adaptive technology allows military vehicles to blend in with the surrounding landscape. It allows misleading night vision devices and the infrared guidance systems of aircraft. Thus, the adaptive technology allows for modifying the appearance of equipment in the infrared range. The adaptive features a layer of hand-sized hexagonal panels made of thermoelectric material which is capable of quickly changing its temperature and adjusting to the environment. One tank requires about a thousand such pixels. The panel quickly heats up and cools down to match either the background temperature, such as of a forest, or of one of the objects in the library of thermal stealth modes, such as a truck, a car, or a large rock. Also, the pixels are quite strong and serve as additional armor while consuming relatively little electricity. There are new developments to help disabled people move around and then there's the Lockheed Martin Hulk exoskeleton, which turns healthy soldiers into mechanized warriors capable of unprecedented feats. Hulk is a hydraulic-powered exoskeleton, which allows soldiers to withstand superhuman loads, such as carrying 90 kilograms of cargo over rough terrain for hours on end, all while maintaining maximum mobility. This is achieved by upgrading the soldier with a pair of active titanium legs and a computer-controlled exoskeleton with a built-in power supply. The system takes the load off the soldier without hindering the soldier's ability to move during a long battle. Flexible design and hydraulic drive allow the soldier to crouch, crawl, and basically move without restrictions. Thanks to advanced developments and materials, Hulk also acts as armor, protecting its wearer from injuries and the strain of carrying heavy loads. Given that Hulk can increase its user's metabolic efficiency, reduce oxygen consumption, and reduce muscle fatigue, it's hard to deny that the future depends on these mechanical warriors. Unit 888 Rephaim, or Ghosts, is an elite special forces unit in the Israeli Defense Forces. It was created in 2019. The unit uses a variety of special tools and innovative combat concepts, as well as the full range of intelligence-gathering technology and weapons available to the Israeli army. In fact, the unit, which is also known as the multi-dimensional unit, operates in all battle arenas to detect, attack, and destroy the enemy in all theaters of operation and in all domains, combining the capabilities of infantry, engineering, anti-tank warfare, air, and intelligence forces. The unit is designed to conduct covert combat operations using camouflage on the ground, including the implementation of sudden and unexpected operations, hence the name, Ghosts. As you probably understood, the Rephaim isn't an ordinary unit, but its uniqueness goes beyond the fact that it uses special equipment and select fighters, but also the fact that it is kind of a laboratory of new technologies for the entire Israel Defense Forces. In fact, the Rephaim unit is field testing the latest reconnaissance equipment, communication, and information transmission systems, as well as combat theories that are being developed including by the unit's fighters themselves. All this is done with the aim of creating many similar units in the future, which have the potential of significantly improving the Army's capabilities on a larger scale, that is, in the entire Army and at all levels. The Modular Advanced Armed Robotic System, MARS, created by Quintic for the Department of Technical Support of the U.S. Army, has already been tested in Iraq. The new system has only one task, to conduct fire operations in the war zone. 
The Mars Tracked chassis is equipped with a satellite navigation system, optical and infrared sensors, a laser rangefinder, as well as communication and data exchange features. The robot's video camera is equipped with a multiple zoom feature, which allows the operator to clearly distinguish targets at a distance and make the right decisions for their destruction, thereby reducing the likelihood of friendly fire. At the same time, the use of remote, rather than autonomous, control methods reduces the range of the robot's operational capabilities to only one or two kilometers. The Mars rotating turret can be armed with a 7.62 mm M240B machine gun and a 40 mm caliber launcher for firing smoke, lighting, tear, or high explosive fragmentation grenades. The maximum speed of the system is 12 kilometers an hour. To increase its speed, the tracks can be replaced with wheels. The modular design allows replacing the weapon system with a manipulator with a payload capacity of 45 kilograms to neutralize mines and improvised explosive devices, as well as loudspeakers and eye-safe laser emitters designed to temporarily blind the enemy. The remotely controlled weapon station Mars can also be used to neutralize improvised explosive devices. When not needed, the manipulator can be quickly replaced with a machine gun. RoboB is a small flying robot developed at Harvard University in the USA. It was created to mimic the behavior of a real bee and can be used for a variety of purposes. RoboB is only 2.5 centimeters long and weighs about 80 milligrams. It can fly, lift off, land, and even float on water. Its wings move with the help of an electric motor, which is powered by a built-in battery. Moreover, RoboB can fly autonomously using built-in sensors and control algorithms. It can be used to carry out reconnaissance missions, monitor enemy positions, and search for survivors in the war zone. It is also possible to use the RoboB to deliver small items or even explosives over short distances. It can also be used to attack enemy objects, although that's rather challenging because its size and weight are limited, and thus it cannot carry heavy objects. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency DARPA program also funded the development of combat bugs, small cyborg beetles to be used in military operations. DARPA's combat bugs can be equipped with cameras, microphones, sensors, and other electronics to gather intelligence and transmit it over a distance. They can also be equipped with weapons or other devices to perform combat missions such as dismantling bombs, spying, and delivering projectiles over some distances. The bugs can move on their six legs and can climb over obstacles such as stairs, rocks, and uneven ground. They can also connect with other combat bugs to increase their capabilities and adaptability to various combat environments. The DARPA program also funded the development of homing bullets, which were designed to increase accuracy and reduce the use of regular projectiles. Homing bullets have built-in electronics that allow them to correct their trajectory in flight. When fired, the bullet measures its location and direction of movement and also receives data from sensors installed on the target. With this data, the bullet calculates its optimal path to the target. Self-guided bullets can reach speeds above 1.5 kilometers a second and have an accuracy of a few centimeters at distances up to one kilometer. They can be used as sniper weapons to increase accuracy over long distances. The Avangard missile system is one of the most sensational Russian military developments of the last decade. The weapon has several important advantages, including intercontinental range, accuracy that matches that of cruise missiles, and incredible speed. This means that the missile can bypass the American missile defense system and deliver a nuclear strike on its territory. Moreover, the warhead can reach the target 15 minutes after the launch. The technical characteristics of the hypersonic missile are kept secret. However, some information about it has been leaked. For example, in 2018, it was reported that during the first official flight, it developed a speed of 33,000 kilometers an hour and hit the target. According to some reports, the length of the warhead is 5.4 meters. Thanks to the composite material cladding, 
the case can withstand heating up to several thousand degrees. It is also reliably protected from laser irradiation. The missile flies at hypersonic speed at an intercontinental range. Maneuvering along the course and altitude, it can bypass the detection and destruction zones of all modern and advanced anti-missile defense systems. The Avangard system can be both mobile and stationary, and the warhead can be divided into six gliding warheads. Railgun It's a linear motor device, typically designed as a weapon, that uses electromagnetic force to launch high-velocity projectiles. A railgun consists of a pair of parallel rails and a projectile that is placed between them. When an electric current is applied to the rails, a powerful magnetic field is created, which accelerates the projectile and sends it along the rails at high speed. Railguns can reach speeds over 2.4 kilometers a second, which is faster than the speed of sound in the air. Railguns have great potential as weapons, as they can launch high-velocity projectiles over long distances with high accuracy. However, they are still being developed and tested. Moreover, railguns can consume huge amounts of power, which can be a problem for real-world applications. However, they remain one of the most promising projectile acceleration technologies and have great potential. Iron Beam is an Israeli tactical missile defense system designed to intercept and destroy ultra-short-range missiles at ranges up to 7 kilometers. The system uses a high-power laser beam as a damaging factor and is designed to destroy artillery shells, artillery mines, small drones, and short-range missiles too small to be effectively intercepted by the Iron Dome. Several sources of laser radiation are summed up and form a coherent beam of increased power. The Death Star operates on a similar principle in the Star Wars universe. Iron Beam destroys targets, irradiating them for 4 to 5 seconds. The main advantages of the laser over interceptor missiles are the very low cost of a shot, unlimited ammo, lower maintenance costs, and fewer weapons crews. The system is relatively easy to improve, as more and more powerful lasers can be developed every year. Well, that's all for today, friends. Like the video if you found it interesting. Share your thoughts in the comments which one of these weapons will destroy us in the end, and uh, we'll see you next time.